What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss upcoming fight UFC 306 that I think is flying under the radar a little bit. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly and to help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Manuel Torres taking on Ignacio Bahamondes this Saturday in the prelims in the lightweight division. And a fight that either you know has performance or fight of the night written all over it. You got Bahamondes, who is just a striking wizard, a striking tactician, who's coming off a knockout victory over UFC veteran Christos Giagos in a fight, man, I mean, just a super flush lead head kick that just fucking put Giagos to the mat, could not follow up. He was hurt, you could tell. You know, in Baja Mondas, he does struggle sometimes when guys are really able to mess with his timing or change levels on him. Ludwig Klein had a phenomenal fight against Baja Mondas. You know, Ignacio works best at distance. He works really good in the counter-striking department, off of his back foot, making space, lateral movement, very beautiful footwork. And going against a guy like Manuel Torres, too, he's going to be, he's definitely going to have to fight off of his back foot because Torres is a guy who does not move backwards. He moves forward relentlessly, almost to the point to where, he, I mean, he's just, he's not scared to get hit. <clears throat> We've seen in his fights already, he leaves his chin up at times, he's taken some nasty shots, but he just seems to walk right through them. He is not scared at all to take a shot to give you two or three, and that's exactly what he does. But he throws and just, he throws everything but the kitchen sink at you, and he showed even most recently, I mean, he's, he's burst out of the UFC scene, right? Three fights, three finishes, first two fights by knockout, Third one most recently over over Chris Duncan. That was a submission victory. But Chris Duncan clipped him early. And Torres was like, oh shit. He retreated a little bit. And then was able to get the fight to the ground. And then find himself the rear naked choke in that fight. Just just a beautiful, beautiful way to go out there and say, okay, it's not working in the striking department. Let's just fucking take this to, to the ground. And he did immediately. So he showed that he can get it done on the feet and on the ground. He doesn't waste any time. And that's kind of where like... I put Manuel Torres, like, it's, just, it's, just, it's a weird statement, but, like, he, you have athletes and you have fighters, and Manuel Torres, he is in that fighter category. He is a dude who's out there to fucking kill his opponent. And Baja Mondes, I think he's a, a, a right mix of both. You know, he, he he's devastating power. He goes out there trying to find the finish that Roosevelt Roberts knockout that he had, the spinning wheel kick knockout that he had over Roosevelt Roberts was an instant classic and he he just has really good athletic ability he throws really cool flashy moves so I, I just i think ignacio is like the right mixture of athlete and fighter where as manuel torres i mean he's just a berserker goes forward throws crazy combinations with ill intent and he lands and, and the way that he lands is because he's not scared to get hit and where bajo mondes his backward movement his ability to fight off of his back foot his lateral movement his footwork and he's going to want to use his distance because whereas Torres he's going to want to break that distance he's going to want to crush that distance and that is where he's going to find success against Baja Mondes and especially since we saw him take it to the ground against Chris Duncan I'd like to see him do that again as much as I'd love to see a striking matchup I think Torres it would be the smart move just march forward throw a lot get Baja Mondes against the fence, get it to the ground and do some work. And as for Baja Mondes, man, just stay in your lateral movement, keep working on that back foot, and just rely on the counter striking. Let Torres make the mistake and capitalize off of what Torres is going to do because the chin is going to be there to is going to be there to be found for Baja Mondes because Torres is just not he's he he doesn't. He doesn't have much care for his safety, you know, like he really, he's, he leaves his chin out there. He, he does not care. He's going out there to find his opponent and go out or be taken out. So for me, this fight, this is my sleeper pick for fight of the night. This is the one fight that's not the main event, co-main event, Ortega fight. Like it, this, this is the one that where it's like, besides all those, this is one I'm really looking forward to. This is 
where I got my magnifying glass on, and I can't wait to see who comes out the winner in this fight. But I think Torres is going to get it done. I th as much as I see Ignacio ca catching him coming in, I think Torres is, has the more well-rounded ability, and I think that his aggression and his submission skills are going to be the difference maker in the fight against Ignacio Bonimo. Bahamondes. Sorry, guys. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think is going to happen for this fight. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, who you guys think is going to get this fight. love to hear your guys' thoughts. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.